our group at the local hydrocarbon research institute has been working on a fuel called methanol or methyl alcohol which sometimes is called wood alcohol it can be made from wood what methanol does is it can react with the air at room temperature in a device called a fuel cell a fuel cell is like a battery this is the heart of a fuel cell you know this is what makes the fuel cell tick no moving parts nothing and we have two electrodes the anode and the cathode and we react methanol on one side and expose the other electrode to air so methanol and air would react and it will produce carbon dioxide and water but the energy that was in the chemical bond is directly converted into electrical energy and uh, right now i am going to demonstrate how simple this technology is in fact i have a little device here this is the plexiglass contraption where the membrane electrode assembly is embedded in it the cathode is this side where it's exposed to oxygen from the air and this side is the anode and there is a little compartment where i can put the fuel i can put some methanol and water and let's see what happens to this propeller okay, i'm going to set it on the table and here in this uh, plastic bottle i have aqueous solution of methanol about 10% methanol solution in water pure water i'm going to take few milliliters of it you know in this dropper then i'm going to add few milliliters of uh, methanol water mixture into the anode compartment slowly and let's see what happens to this little propeller i just added it and the propeller will start running you used to say that you can take off like mary poppins these kind of uh, devices can produce electricity at very high efficiency ultimate hope is you know this technology will uh, be used in all kinds of devices for example it will power your laptop cell phones we can make scooters out of it we can make motorcycles mopeds ultimately we can run locomotives buses any everything can be run with this technology and if methanol becomes the fuel of the future which could be made from co2 which our institute is working on we can uh, have these kind of technologies in all kinds of power producing devices it can power your home ultimately